Hey everyone, Matthew Monas here, and I wanted to show you a very interesting product. This is the Concept D7 easel. I don't know if you guys remember the regular Concept D7. It was basically a laptop that was aimed towards creators, basically a revamped Triton 500 marketed towards the creator market. This is the same concept, but it's slightly heavier at five pounds, and the big difference is the display. This is a 4K UHD display like its predecessor, but it can rotate to pretty much any angle you want it to. It can be used as a tablet, it could also be used as a regular laptop, and you can even fold it all the way backwards and look at nothing if you really, really wanted to. Now the cool thing is that the pen is baked in to the side of the easel, and this allows you to have it on you at all times. You don't need to charge this manually, it charges inside of the laptop, it's Wacom technology, it's using EMR, so you have pretty good latency when you're writing on the screen. The screen is Pantone validated, so it has a Delta score that's under two, 60 hertz, 4K, so really geared towards creators. The other thing is it's taking some of the same principles as its predecessor, you're gonna have a decibel rate that's under 40. So this is gonna be quiet even when this thing is under full load. Now some performance will be sacrificed when you compare it to something like the Triton 500 because it's not pushing the CPU and GPU and the fans are kicking on really loud. It's really prioritizing quietness over other aspects. So that's some of the sacrifices that need to be made if you're looking at a creative product. Now everything else is the same. Keyboard's the same as its previous model. It's very comfortable to type on. They got rid of that gaming vibe and made it feel a little bit more premium. The body is made out of all metal. This is a metal chassis. Port selection is very similar to the uh, previous one. So you have that power connector on the right hand side. Just note if you are right handed, it may get in the way a little bit, but I mean if you place the cord backwards, it will be okay. And then on the left hand side, you have two USB Thunderbolt 3 ports, your USB 3.2A port, audio jack, and then, like I mentioned, same ports as the previous model. It will be going on sale soon with the 10th gen Intel processors. I don't have any more information about those yet, hopefully soon. And if you want me to review this, obviously let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more CES 2020 coverage.